Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. This week, the stocks to watch aren't in a specific uh, sector. The patterns are the uh, ones to watch. As we saw on Friday, the Dow used the T-line as support and bounced back up. After trading down quite a bit, it finished up only off 17 points. At the same time, the NASDAQ was up 120 for the day, also coming up off the, uh, the T-line. This clearly illustrates the uptrend remaining in progress. So the strong sectors last week still seem to be working, the biotechs, retailers, auto parts. But this week, we're looking at a lot of J-hook patterns that give you a lot better perspective or uh, prospects for strong trades going into this week. Now, we can see what's happening in D-Dog. There's the J-hook pattern setting up, coming out of a fry pan bottom. What do we expect coming out of a fry pan bottom? A strong price move. What's the prerequisite for a J-hook pattern? A strong price move. So there's a good, uh, good probability on strong trading that this could be another strong uptrend, basically the same magnitude as wave one. We're seeing the same type of setup over in s SLI. You can be buying this one on positive trading, expecting wave one to be the same going into, or the magnitude of wave one being the same magnitude as wave three. This is one of the uh, benefits of using candlestick analysis that we know that the J-hook pattern, whatever this price move is here, is usually gonna be the same for here. This allows investors to do a lot more analysis of what they wanna do to take advantage of that price move, whether it's buying the stock, whether it's buying calls, or whether it's buying call spreads because you know where the uh, calculated upside target will be. What this also does is it changes the trajectory. You can see the uptrend, now a J-hook pattern, and notice the inverted hammer after a hammer gap up. That usually changes the trajectory from this type of uh, trajectory more to this type of trajectory, giving you a pro uh, the prospects of much stronger price moves. FVRR also with the uh, bullish engulfing after the, the uh, Doji hammer type signal. Notice how it stayed above the T-line. Wave three can be bought on any positive trading tomorrow. And more defined is the bobble pattern, which is merely a J-hook pattern where you can see the sell signal occurring right at an observable resistance level, like the 200-day moving average. But note what happens. When they bring it back to the T-line, you can see all the buy signals starting to show you the T-line's acting as a support level. And when they come back up through this level, the resistance level, there's an extremely high probability that this wave now is gonna be the same magnitude as this wave. Basically, if you took out the resistance level, the 200-day moving average that everybody can see, you essentially have a J-hook pattern. That'll be it. Lots of strong uh, uh, J-hooks that we've identified this coming week. That should produce some good profits provided the market maintains its slow, steady uptrend. We'll see you in the chat rooms.